figured we should do a little garden update. I don't think we've done one this year. Um, we've got the idea of these tree wells going on to try to capture water and be able to get water deeper. So we've got this fig was the one who has been waiting the longest. Actually, the other one also, but anyways, the figs are popping up, so that's exciting. This is the one that looks like it's possibly not doing so well, but we still have hope for her. I've got some baby trees that I got from the Arbor Day Foundation that we're hoping to have shade trees someday. All the trees are doing really well. We've got the cherry tree, the nectarine tree, and the plum tree. Um, we put, see, these, we repurposed this metal sheeting for some little, uh, boxes to just kind of keep it separated for me so we didn't put any extra soil in there we had put some mulch down last year to try to cultivate the soil a little bit a friend gave us some tomato plants and planted them last week and it looks like so far they're doing well just now we planted some corn seeds so we'll see if those do well at all and these boxes are going to be for our melons. Um, hopefully we'll do watermelon, honeydew, cantaloupe, and then another watermelon up here. So the melons are pre-seeded and we're going to do those, uh, plant those probably this weekend. The walnut trees are waking up nicely. This one looks the nicest, best. The new idea is to maybe use the totes for a wall. Have some water storage. I'll show you the greenhouses. We have the apple trees are doing well. The goats did get out again and munch on the apple trees. So that kind of stinks. But we still have some apples. You can kind of see where they munched on them. Um, but it looks like we'll still get a few apples. The blueberries are coming alive pretty well. Um, I did some soil acidifier to try to help them get the, um, the acidic soil that they like. You can see there's some there's some apples on this apple tree, so that's exciting. The goats munched on the lower branches, but we still got some up in the higher branches. We put together our bee box. I had bought this last year. I just looked; it was in April of last year, so. We'll see if some bees come in or whatnot. It was the big boy's idea to turn these IBC totes into a greenhouse. So we've got some of our seedlings in here, tomatoes, squashes, cucumbers, pumpkins. And we've got some melons over here as well. Looks like that's a delicata squash back there. So it's exciting and fun to discover things to repurpose. The pomegranates are doing pretty well. They're coming back. The peach tree is really exciting. It's coming up well. Ah, oh, the wind is the only thing to... So hopefully, so last year we had probably half as this many peaches, like a dozen and a half. This year it looks like we have a couple dozen peaches. 
Last year it was taken out by a hailstorm, so hopefully this year it does okay. We put in three more peach trees. Um, so we have this row of peach trees along there. Um, we got some more blackberries. This one is sprouting out. The raspberry um, came back really nicely from last year. We were thinking that it died, but it came back, so that was really exciting. Um, we're going to be putting tomatoes in here. Um, we have some lettuce that um, came up from last year's seeds, probably just blew in. Oh yeah, these were some pepper, some pepper plants that we planted a week ago. So hopefully they do okay as they're trying to root. I think those, that kale is from last fall. So we were letting it seed and hopefully we can harvest some seeds from it. Here's a, this just blew up like crazy in the last month. It was like six inches tall and now it's grown huge. But this is John's rhubarb from last year. But anyways, it's been really exciting to see everything green up and start growing again. Hopefully we can update again soon. Oh, John's grapes. The grapes, again, it's just something that we've never done. And so it's like, is it going to come back? And they have come back beautifully. So all winter long, they're like these, these dead looking sticks. And then they green up in the spring. Where I'm sure everyone who's a gardener is like, duh, but... This is our first time really homesteading. We already have some little baby grapes. I don't know why it's not focusing. So it's super exciting. Hopefully we'll get grapes this year. Last year we didn't get any grapes, but they were just barely um, getting in the ground last year. But thanks for watching.